Hello everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, we will discuss about G-Rock pattern. In this session, we will see few patterns related to date and timestamp. So let's start our demo. First, we need to start our elastic search. So I have already launched and I'm going to start. The start command is elasticsearch.bat. Then we need to start the Kiwana. This is the start command. Now, why I'm starting both? we will see the demo of these patterns date time timestamp date and date stamp in the kivana kivana is the tool where we can execute our grok pattern and can see if it is working correctly or not and elastic search to start the kivana it is important to start the elastic search so let's wait for the kivana to be up so kivana is up now you can see server running at port this so let's open this kivana me copy you can copy this So it is loading now. You need to scroll down and this dev tool. There is an option Grok Debugger. You need to click on it. So this is where we can test our Grok pattern. First for the date. So this is the pattern is available for the date out of the box. So how you need to write percentage bracket and the name of the pattern date and the name given to the data which will match this date pattern will match few format of date so suppose you have a date present in your log you want to get the date in particular field suppose this is date present 23462022 so this is the date present in your log you want to match the pattern you want to write a pattern which will match this date so we can use the out of the box date pattern for this and let's see if it is working let's simulate yeah you can see so this particular date has been stored in this time time field so this is the pattern is matching so so there are many format it can match it can match this format also the dot separator you can see Passed success and you can also check the hyphen. Yeah, so we have seen the slash hyphen dot separator, it is working fine. So all these formats were DD MM YY. One more format is supported MM DD YY. So MM DD YY. Let's see if it is able to parse this pattern date pattern yeah you can see it is passed successfully and date has been stored in this time field now we will see if it is able to parse in case that separator is hyphen it is able to parse if, if in case dot so the date is not this particular format mmdd yy is not supporting the this dot separator so we can't use the we can't pass this date which is having the dot separator so which all format like you can this it can pass this 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 these are the ddmm and y y y y four times y this is the mm dd and four times y so same this and this format is not supported dot so this is how we can use the date format now we will see the time time form time it, it supports is colon 59 and 60 and here the name for the pattern name for the time is time capital you can see this is parsing so this is how you can parse the time you can give here this also this is how you can parse your time now we will see the date stamp which all format it is supporting so date stamp is like this is the pattern name date stamp you can and here you can write the date 
here you can write the date what is the format dd mm and four times y and then the time you can see it has passed this pattern has passed this format successfully so you can see and this also supports this this also support this dot so all these date format it supports also for this right so this is the mm dd and four times y it supports you can use the hyphen as well right successfully passed but we cannot use the dot it will give the error so you can see the not able to match the data so so this does not support this format so which all format it supports it supports all these formats this 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 so if date present in these for any of the format you can use this date stamp one more is the time stamp time stamp is done which supports a different date format along with the time so you can see this dd mm and four times y along with the time so here if if you execute this now so it is giving a wrong value right four so here you need to use this is the basically pattern name so these are the out of the box pattern we just need to use them so you can see it has passed successfully so this pattern you can this particular you can pass with the help of this pattern timestamp other format is also supports you can see so it also supports this you can see so what's the difference you can see dot this and this also support this so these are the different timestamp it supports you can see this you can see this the time stamp this and the difference just highlighting the difference it also supports this you can see able to parse if this output is coming means it is able to parse it also support this format it also support this format you can see it is able to parse i will post all these de details in the description of the video if you are liking the content of the channel please do subscribe my channel thanks for watching see you in the next video